Hi everyone, this is Larice West from LariceWestStudios.com. I offer elite training for professional singing and speaking and programs for those who wanna go at a slower pace. But elite training is a high density of sessions for rapid problem solving, skill acquisition, integration, and career up leveling. We're continuing our series on how to create your sound. And today we're gonna to talk about too much laryngeal pressure, that's too much vocal cord pressure, and what it does and how it creates a sound that is fuzzy and inefficient, it's a waste of energy, and it doesn't give you vocal cord flexibility to create different sounds with your vocal cords. We talked about placement, which is where you're creating your vowel, which is elongated in singing and speaking, and we can use that to our advantage to create different sounds, but we also want to know how to create the most powerful sound and a big voice, and we can only do that when we're really producing the sound on our vocal cords. And if there's too much laryngeal pressure, too much vocal cord pressure, that really tires the voice, doesn't give it flexibility, doesn't give it range, and this is important for both singers and speakers because we don't want to be monotone, we want to have lots of vocal variety and flexibility, and of course, singers want to have lots of range. So one of the reasons people have too much vocal cord pressure is that we can. In other words, I can grab and jerk with lifting, but it's much better if I develop the muscle to do it quite easily. It's the same with, thing with the voice. So if you go, ah, Ah, you'll see, you can grab with the vocal cords. But if I go, ah, ah, it's much more relaxed. Eh, eh, ah, ah. And you hear there's much more resonance, so it's much more flexibility. So one of the things people have done in trying to figure out how to sing themselves, and unfortunately, not everybody around us is singing or speaking, or speaking professionally, so we haven't had a lot of role models in trying to figure things out for ourselves. People actually try to oomph it up and grab. And that's the reason you don't have the sound that you want. And that's part of what I do in working with people is really undoing what's un inefficient and building what's efficient. And generally you need some help doing that. But in the meantime, play with what I just said Play with thinking what you want rather than grabbing into it. If you're feeling work happening when you're publicly speaking or you're singing, you're doing it incorrectly. Just like when you're talking, you know activities happening, like talking with friends, but you don't feel like, wow, I'm really efforting for this. So that's a sign that something's wrong. Certainly if there's pain, there's definitely something wrong. And feel free to give me a call, sign up on my website for a free strategy session. Let's talk about what's going on with your voice and some things that you can do to train your voice and stay in tune with this series. And until next time, sing and speak with your heart. Take good care.